I'm just looking like this. Or like this. I think this is more professional. No, not like where, but like just casual. Yeah, we're vibing. Jamal Murray expressing <laughs> himself. My goodness. Okay, so instead of having a full 82 game normal season um, like we would uh, normally, wow, normal. What, what even is normal? I don't know. It's 2020. Nothing's normal. What is life? Don't matter. But anyway, 72 game season, it's going to be released in two halves. We already have the first half. So the first 36 games have been released. Um, go look at your favorite team schedule right now. You can see who they're playing. But for the second half of the season, the NBA is actually being pretty smart here and not releasing those games because unlike the NFL, now they will have time to actually you know, make adjustments, postpone games, do whatever they need to do to make all the games happen and to make sure that, that they secure that TV money, which is what matters and what gives us basketball. So we're okay with that. you know. Okay, so in addition to changing the, the regular season format, the league also changed the playoff format. So the 7th and 8th highest winning percentage, um, that's another big difference they're going to have. Since games might get canceled or post postponed, the seeding will be determined by the win percentage uh, rather than the total number of wins, at least for this um, play-in tournament that we're going to have. So rather than having just the top 8 seeds go into the playoffs like we normally do, we're going to have the 7th and 8th seed play each other, and then the loser of that game is going to play the winner of the 9 and 10 seed playing each other. So I personally think that this is going to be great for the league. We're going to have a much more competitive regular season, not only because those you know 9 and 10 spots are going to be really, really sought after, but the 7th and 8th seed are going to have to watch themselves. You know, you're going to need to get that 6th spot instead of the 8th in order to be safe to make it to the first round. So I think that that's going to be great. Um, we're going to have a more competitive playoffs as well because I think the better teams are going to get in. You know, last season in the bubble, we had a bit of a play-in tournament. I think it was just the eighth seed playing the ninth seed. Um, and we saw the, uh, the Blazers and I think the um, Orlando Magic get in. And um, those, play those you know, playing games were really exciting and fun to watch. Um, I encourage everyone to go back and watch them if they have, you know, some spare time. Um, I imagine you do since it's uh, 2020 and everybody um, is unemployed. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. All of the you know best teams are more likely to get into the playoffs and to have a chance to compete for that championship. And that's nothing but good for the league and you know good for us as fans. Um, you know, another thing is that I think that those playing tournaments are going to be really intense. You know, rather than a single or rather than a seven game series, it's going to be a single game or you know two games if you look at it as a little you know four team tournament in each conference um so you know it's it's winter go home and you know that's an awesome thing for sports fans and i love that personally so um yeah and that's about it i'm gonna wrap it up for this video and um hope you guys are looking forward to the regular season as much as i am i can't wait um and don't forget to tell me what i did wrong in this video what i messed up i know there's something i will want you guys to find it and uh Good luck to your teams in this upcoming season. Um, I mean, no, only only Nuggets fans. You guys are the only ones who deserve luck. Um, you guys are like the Suns and like you know the Kings. I feel bad for the Kings, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks so much, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.